We're here at ITU Telecom World 2015 and the last day here in Budapest, Hungary. And I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio by Khalid Al Nasser, who is the founder and CEO of Praktek. Khalid, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you for having us. Now, the reason that you're here is, is quite a special reason. You've just uh, won the ITU Telecom World Entrepreneurship Award. So I'd like to find out from you what it's like to have won this and, uh, and tell us a little bit about what you did to win it. We're very humbled to actually get this award. Really, uh, we're a passionate company and we really want to make a difference. Uh, for us to actually make this, this actually builds up our morale and it gives us that drive, that boost to actually deliver something that makes an impact. So we're very appreciative. Tell us a little bit about Practic. What is Practic? So Practic is a wearable IoT company focused on enterprise, more specifically healthcare. What we're doing is what we call medication boarding passes, because we realize that people don't go on wrong planes, but wrong patients actually get the wrong medication, which doesn't make sense. And it's a huge problem, especially that actually I'm a physician, and this happens on a day-to-day -day basis. So what we're doing is that we're actually giving healthcare personnel wearable scanners so they can verify medication and they can scan also a patient tag so they make sure that they don't give the wrong patient the wrong medication. So you scan your medication, scan the patient at point of care, and that's how you do it. So in terms of uh, the award itself, what is it going to mean to you to have won it? Definitely it's a, a sense of validation and it's a great sense of knowing how to benchmark yourself, how we can go from this, what happens after. So it's great for us and our team as well. So we know that we're on the right track. This is important for us. We're open to new ideas, we're open to opinions and seeing that being validated is huge for me. And whereabouts are you based? We're actually based in San Francisco, the Bay Area. But we travel a lot. <laughs> and and how, how, is it, how has it been for you to get to this stage? Have you found that it's, uh, you've had a, a nurturing environment provided for you there in San Francisco? Definitely. You know, the ecosystem for wearables is just kind of being in that kind of incubation period uh, for wearables. But it's been great because you see lots of these players have ideas for your device. So people can actually see your technology. They say you can actually connect with this guy from the ecosystem. So it's a pretty kind of self-sufficient efficient tech ecosystem and you, when you make it there's like the song New York New York you can make it anywhere so we really like that ecosystem and we met some really interesting people what's one of the major challenges nowadays for entrepreneurs in the ICT sector in the ICT sector honestly it's outreach obviously you know it's a communication sector but what's communication sector we can communicate right so uh, there should be better outreach programs and these people aren't well informed there are lots of passionate entrepreneurs but they don't know the exact process. The way, for instance, I started, I started with the patent and the IP first. That helped me establish that what I have is original, that I can actually talk to people with that. But people who have ideas, it's hard for them to validate it. You talk to people and say, are you sure this is a good idea? Are you sure this hasn't been done? And it's, it creates that kind of barrier. And it's also this kind of uh, geographic uh, also barrier as well. When you see people from different uh, areas in the world and regions, for them, they're not familiar with what's going on in the rest of the world. So it's very important for this kind of event to actually bridge those different kind of people from different walks of life, introduce them to these new opportunities. So yeah. Finally, talking about this event itself, what's been the value for you for attending ITU Telecom World? Meeting you and lots of wonderful people, honestly, really. It's very inspiring. You know, when I saw the award ceremony, people really kind of got into it. You see these problems that you never even thought about. It's raising awareness more than anything else. You know, it's beautiful that you kind of get this harmony of technology, uh, you know, um, raising awareness, these social issues, and you find these solutions together. Even the award is just kind of a step in the in that right direction. But even if you don't win the award, and this is uh, something I need to say to everybody else, the value you get is the value you make. And the connections you make here will go a long way. Well, Halid al Nasser, congratulations for winning the ITU Telecom World Entrepreneurship Award. And uh, we wish you the very best in the future. Thank you. Thanks very much.